Welcome guys, this is Tech Knowledge Made Basic. Previously we had discussed the Windows 8 charms and we do, we access the charms by taking our pointer going all the way to the top right hand side of our screen going down and activating the uh, charms on the right hand side here. Where we want to go to is the settings. So we're going to go ahead and do a left click over settings over this little sprocket and what we want to enter is where it says change PC settings and I'm going to show you some of the options that we have within within the PC settings itself. So we'll go ahead and do a left click over change PC settings and as you can see here we have several different options on our left hand side. Right now we have the personalize highlighted and what this will allow us to do is go ahead and personalize three different things our lock screen, our start screen, and our account picture. As you can see here, there are by default some pictures you can go ahead and change your lock screen to. And a lock screen is just when you do like a control alt delete on your computer. Say you're stepping away and you have something private that you don't want anybody else to see and you want to lock your computer. Uh, it's going to automatically go to, by default, this picture that's selected here. But you can change that just by doing a left click just over any of the other pictures. So you can change it to whatever, whatever option you want down here. And you can also customize it to a personal picture just by doing a left click over browse it's going to automatically take you to the pictures folder where you can choose your own uh, personal picture if you wanted to also in within the lock screen as long as you're connected to the internet you'll receive notifications of certain things and as you can see down here where it says choose apps to run in the background and show quick status and notifications even when the screen is locked right now it's set to for windows live messenger and email to come up as a notification but you can add another one by just doing clicking on this plus sign here doing a left click you can go ahead and add the weather and calendar also to give you quick notifications while the lock screen is is running and basically you only lock it when you're really stepping away anyways so you can customize that as you please the next thing would be the start screen Let's go ahead and do a left left click on start screen and right now it's set to that default purple that we've been looking at in the past tutorials let's go ahead and change it up we can change it up by this bar down here we got several different colors that we can change it to I would prefer maybe let's go ahead and do like a lighter blue so let's drag this here all the way to maybe there that's that's an alright color so we'll just leave it there and we have several different picture backgrounds that we can choose from to uh, change the the start screen to let's go ahead and just do this wacky one that we have right here it's kinda weird looking but whatever and just to show you that it did change we'll we'll go ahead and click on start within the charms as you can see the background color and the picture changed to what we just customized it to so let's go back in our PC settings exiting our charms again do a left click change PC settings for now we'll just leave it that way I just wanted to show you that you can customize it let's go ahead and click on account picture here and within here you can go ahead and click browse and again it's going to take you to your pictures folder where you can choose a personal picture to have as your as your account picture or you can even take a if you have a webcam you can go ahead and do a left click over camera and it's going to access your webcam to where you can take uh, a current picture of yourself if you wanted to do so or whatever maybe a dog cat maybe you have you know a bird or something just go ahead and stick them in the webcam take a picture and there you go you have your account picture but that's your personalized options now if we go ahead and go down the list to users let's do a left click on users here one thing that we have not discussed yet is that right now I am under a local account within the computer. So I am not under one, a Microsoft account. I don't have an email account tied into this yet because I wanted to show you how to do that. So right now I'm under the local account. So it gives me the option to go ahead and switch to a Microsoft account, which I don't have yet. And I don't have a password on this account. So it's giving me the option to go ahead and create a password. But then I also have another option down here where it says other users. I can go ahead and create an alternate account. What I would highly recommend is to have both a local account and a Microsoft account, but I will talk about that and the reasons why later. So those are just the options, the, the user options within the PC settings. Now if you go ahead and proceed down the list to notifications, do a left click. These are the different apps that the computer is going to notify you on when, when something is, needs to be updated or you know any type of a certain notification with it. You can turn them off here if you want keep them on uh, you can just turn off all notifications so if I if I take this and just swipe it all the way to the left here I, you can see everything grayed out I turn off all the notifications so that you know I'll leave it up to you whether you want to keep that on or off now if you proceed down to where it says search to a left click on search now if you remember if you recall when we access our charms 
and we clicked on search go ahead and do that now we have these different apps here that allow us to search within those different apps besides also being able to search between apps settings and files you can search with within the app itself so let's go back to our PC settings there's different, several different ways to get here but I just want to keep showing you that way so you're familiar with it but the this you could you now this is the same list that just appeared under the search within our charms now you can disable any one of these that you don't want to search under you can just turn them on or off or you can go ahead and also tell Windows not to suggest a search because sometimes it does you can turn that feature off now if you've searched on something on your computer, you've, you've searched many, many different things, and you want to go ahead and delete the history, you can simply, where it says search history in Windows, go ahead and, and do a left click, and you can see done. It just deletes everything that you have previously searched. Maybe you're planning a, a surprise, and you have something on your computer, you, and you, you know, multiple people use the same computer, you don't want them to see, you want them to see what you were searching, just go ahead and, and delete the history, that way they don't see. But that, that's what that's pertaining to, is that, that specific item uh, within the search and the charms. Now, if we go ahead and click on share, this is also associated with the share in the charms here. This, will, this is the option that allows us to go ahead and share like a certain link, maybe a certain app or a certain, a certain link within an app to either somebody's email address, to somebody's uh, social networking uh, page, or to SkyDrive, which we'll talk about a little bit later also. So that's what that is. We'll go ahead and proceed and go to General. Do a left click on General. And as you can see, these are just general settings on the computer. You can change your uh, time zone. You can change, uh, you can turn daylight savings times on or off. Uh, you can do the, you can delete the history for app switching. Uh, you can turn the, uh, autocorrect off for spelling you can change the language preferences and so on and so forth you also have a couple of uh, good options down here where you have your refresher PC without affecting your files say if your PC isn't running well this actually allows you to go ahead and refresh your PC um, back to almost like a new state but not quite a new state this option at right here will allow you to basically what it says you know remove everything and reinstall Windows so proceed with these with uh, very, very, very high caution. Just be careful. Make sure you know what you're doing. And this is if you had uh, maybe a disk or uh, something like a Windows disk that you wanted to just go ahead and wipe your computer out with. So, But that's all in the general options. If we go ahead and, and do a left click on privacy, and you know this will just give you privacy to like location or the fact that it'll let your the apps you, use your account picture. So it's just your privacy settings. If we go ahead and do a left click on devices, now these are all the devices that are uh, typically plugged into your computer in some way. You can add a device. Now this device is under PC settings. It's the same thing as going under your control panel. And I'll show you right now. We'll go ahead and, and access the charms. Go to the search, do a left click. Type in control to access our control panel. And actually we want to not be under settings here. We want to be actually under the apps because that's where the control panel is located. We'll go ahead and do a left click on control panel. And if we go to hardware and sound, devices and printers, you can see all these devices here are the same thing that was within that list under PC settings. So we'll go back just so I can show you. And we're going to play more with control panel and other settings in, in future tutorials. We'll go ahead and do a left click on settings, go back to change PC settings. So that there's the same items. So two different ways, two different places to access the same thing. Here you can remove a device. Let's say I wanted to move this USB receiver. If I did a left click over it, it's got a minus sign here. If I do a left click on that, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to remove this? You can go ahead and click remove. Or you can simply just add another hardware device to your computer by clicking this add a device uh, option up here at the top. Now if we move on to ease of access, this is basically where you can ch change your contrast, you can make everything on your screen bigger. Uh, right now, it's all that's turned off. You can uh, also access like the narrator, the magnifier, and you can also change the time with how how quick how quickly the notifications stay on your screen. So right now, they're set to five seconds, the so the lowest. And you can even change your cursor cursor thickness. So here, it's set to one. So it's you know just by by default, it's usually set to that. 
but let's say if we put it on 8 you can see how thick the cursor gets so if you ever want to change that that thickness you know where to go now it's going to be under ease of access under your PC settings now if I, if I do a left click under sync your your settings what this option allows us to do is is sync our settings so when we go from one Windows 8 PC to another if we have multiple PCs our settings and files remain the same now that doesn't mean that it takes your personal files with it but it allows you to have the same experience from computer to computer so you, that way from one Windows 8 computer to another if you have say a laptop a laptop and a desktop it, it syncs it syncs everything for you now right now this option is disabled and the reason is because <coughs> excuse me the reason is because it's under a local account and not a Microsoft account so it wants me to switch to a Microsoft account in order for this to to activate so we'd have to do that but we will do that in the future and I will show you that uh, these 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 preferences can be synced. Now if we go proceed to home group what the home group does is allows you to have like a a network within your home if you have multiple PCs and, and share things like documents, music, pictures, videos, printers. So if you have and most homes do have more than one computer you know if your children have computers if uh, you have a computer you know somebody else has a computer in the home it allows all the computers to basically synchronize and, and share you know these specific types of uh, files and folders and Windows updates well that's simply what it is just a Windows update like it's always been if I go ahead and click uh, check for updates now it's just gonna check for updates on my computer it's just another way to access the Windows update but there's a uh, course like with uh, almost every uh, Microsoft Windows operating system there's several different ways to do the same thing so we've gone through all the PC settings uh, just make sure to definitely check those out and get familiar with them that way you're aware where certain things are where you can customize certain things where you can turn certain aspects of uh, feat or certain features of Windows 8 on or off uh, you can also add user accounts through here as you can through your control panel also but I hope uh, all this information was informative I do thank you guys for watching and I appreciate your time